welcome back everyone to an episode of Castilla! <laughs> Espanol everyone, where we are destroying the Moors in a very, very kiss in a very, very charismatic way. So, uh, we uh, we were just about to go start sending troops to go overland to go destroy them. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't much of a of a uh, you know. Well, I was about to say, guys, that we're about to go send troops over to go destroy them, because you know, as as we all know, they're being insanely stubborn people. If you're going, if you're going to try to destroy my men, you might want to do a little bit better. You guys are the defending part. Oh my goodness, they might actually win. Hmm. Okay, let's rethink this before I go after it. Cause this is how I beat Castile in the original Let's Play. So, learning from their mistakes, um, I know I'm going to go over my limit here, but what we're going to do is build, because I have enough money, so why should I even care? We're going to go over our limit and build tons of cogs, first of all, to support a big gigantic army. That way we can go on to land. I'm also going to build another medieval army, three, four, five, and then some Latin Knights, one, two, three, four. Gosh dang, don't you just love having money, people? It, like, makes your day so much better. So, um, did any of our people actually get through? No. Uh, but somebody's trying to be a jerk and steal one of our cardinals. That's kind of mean. Uh, but we, we, we conquered all we needed. We're building lots of new cogs. Yeah, just give it, just give us a, a couple of days. We'll get this all sorted out. I mean, what are they going to do? They're not going to win this ex I'm not gonna win this, so I don't know even know why. Yeah, you see, there's our new army. Everyone go down here. Yeah. And with this new army, we should have with our also new cogs. There's our new horsemen. Get them down there. Get our new horsemen down there. Get our new horsemen down there. And our new cogs should be here in a little bit, I think. The fifth of the fiftieth. It's gonna take a little bit longer than I expected, so we're just gonna chill here, just watching the war go on. I mean, this is really not costing us anything, so I'm not really, like, insanely worried. We're also gonna boost stability up just because we can. Raise wartime taxes. Because, you know what? Wartime taxes help us out a lot during war. And... Anything else we need to do? Nah, we just... I love this new screen, though. I just want to say that now, like, the Vassal screen just makes everything really nice. Um, let's see, Castile, 50 votes, 45, yeah. They're still fighting for that one, so I'm gonna keep investing points into it. Now we got our ships over here, everyone send all of our ships over there. This should be enough to support, at the very least, a decent sized army so that we can go and land safely on Magella without, or Malaya, without, you know, having much problems because that's mainly the point is that if 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 the AI like it's been smartly doing destroys all my army before I can actually go land it they could possibly win this just because I'm an idiot but I'm not a stupid AI so I know this tactic card so I'm gonna send 13 soldiers over that should be enough let me make sure I don't send my king over too let's send over this guy because he's just as bad as our king so if he dies I don't care and we're just gonna get over there to Malaya and hire an engineer or lose prestige. Dang, we have no prestige right now. That's kind of weird. Usually, I would hope that Castile had this massive amount of prestige, but apparently we don't. So now we got our two first troops on there. Yeah, you, you go send an army after those guys, and let's see how good you do. Let's see. No, I want to see you send an army, Morocco. Send an army over here. You might want to quickly do it, because I'm sending another one. Oh, oh, you have a couple seconds. Are you going to send an army? going to send an army? going to send an army? No. They didn't send an army. Well, guess what? It's happy... Uh... Destroy everyone day? Is that truly a day? I don't know. I only have seven regiments eat two. <laughs> I got even weaker. Okay, so I don't really need to be blockading this port anymore, so I'm gonna go over here. Cause I'm about to- I'm about to destroy everything inside that port. In fact, let's just split it up and just go send half the army over there. And it does have at least one, two bogs in there, so that means it is blockading whatever it needs to do. And it went, they went out just in time. So let's go send our early Karaks to go help our men. There we go. 
Hmm. I'd like to actually bring up some of a fight. Let's go see. Let's go send some of our. You aren't doing anything. You guys go to this battle, go reinforce. Quickly, 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 quickly. Ah, oh, man. If I lose to my own incompetence, I will be very insanely mad. But I do believe they're going to hold out just long enough for me to add my ships. There we go. And now we're going to destroy their ships. And do we capture anything? Capture two ships. Yes. There we go. Group them all up. Split them back up. Get them divided. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to group this one up and go send half of the soldiers to go back over here. There we go. And that should provide a good siege all the way around, completely and utterly blockading everyone to 100% and making sieges insanely easy. There we go, total warfare exemplified right there. Oh, and they finally attacked me. What are they gonna do? They're not gonna win. That was a good effort though. I'll give you like A for effort, but no cigar? Let's see. They're going to Malik. Let's go chase them down because this would actually be a pretty good chance to go crush their army. Like seriously, go crush the 13 stack. Ooh, they escaped barely. Okay, well just to be sure they don't like um attack my other flanks, I'm gonna get a little bit more of an army out there. Keep a little bit of a siege force back, just so that we have a siege force. And there we go. Yeah, because I already know this strategy. They're going to try to, like, you know, attack the weakest point. Actually, let's just move our army right there so they can't do anything. No, we lost it. Oh, no. You do not get my cardinal. That is my cardinal. That, that guy I've been fighting since, like, for about five or six years now. You ain't getting my cardinal. E I'm going to go send the bigger force in to go help mop this up. With the general to ooh, come on, hurry, 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 hurry. There we go. Call to arms. Finds us at war with somebody. Okay, good. Go to war. Okay, you guys go chase down these. Go chase them down. Seriously, they want to attack me and then not think I'm going to retaliate. Oh my goodness, this guy's really being fought over. I can't do anything about it too. Okay, do we get some land yet? No, we have not blockaded them yet. Okay, but we are getting some war score. Wait, how do they escape? They don't have fast launch yet. Okay, let's go right here then. Come on, destroy the rest of the army. Right, there we go. With my superior European tech, I should win this easily. Okay, there is no way they can get out of this. There is no way they can possibly escape this. I got them cornered. They're right there in the corner. I'm gonna destroy them. Unless they're going to Casablanca. Nope, they didn't go to Casablanca. And they're still almost not all dead. King Edward the Fourth! Okay, and then go right here. If they do try to escape, and then if they try to escape even more, go right there. There we go. I've already planned ahead for how I'm gonna win that if they do try to do any kind of weird stuff. Let's see, are we doing in money? We're doing great in money. Okay. Um, siege-wise, this should be done. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, really? We're still not done? I mean, that's like, I know I know we're, we're having difficulties here, but seriously, that should be done by now. Okay, so you're finally ready to start admitting my, my demands. Okay. Do I want Magella? No, because that'll give us, that'll give us, like, too much. It's... I think they're just gonna be too angry and you know it's just it's just not worth it. But just revoke cores just to help my vassals out. Annul treaties, nah. Transfer trade, nah, they don't really have much. So then just give me as much money as you can. There we go. That's all I want. There we go. We're out of this war, so now I'm gonna group up all my men. Group up all my men into one coastal region and now we're gonna go help try to fight France's war I don't even know what it is really so we might want to check so who we at war with right now Savoy is why do I why am I in this war again <laughs> I, I don't really feel like I need to be in this war like it doesn't 
really concern me. Okay, um, on a side note though, we have to gain a little bit more prestige and power for this to work. Let's see, does this, does this, after boosting this up, does this help mission age strength? By 0 0.5, so we're going to try to see if we can boost this up a little bit, see if we can gain a little bit more mission age strength. That's what we really want. And in terms of advisors, uh, should we go up one more manpower? See, I don't know how much I don't know how much of this is our national idea, so I can't really tell you. But let's see. In trade power wise, we don't own the node anymore. That's only because we're not really trading, mostly because of reasons. But just give us a second. We'll be bigger than Portugal. We just have to start slowly transferring all these guys back across the strait, which apparently they can all do in a very cool simultaneous manner. Okay, yeah, everyone just keep heading across the strait. Wow, they, they could take the long way around. That would be very smart troops. Or you guys could just sit here and wait for a second while I get everyone grouped up. Uh, do I have all my ships here? Ships, go right here. Just give me a second. I'm grouping up all my ships. It's going to take me just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. There's our massive Castilian army. Okay, and as you can see, they had some boats too. So probably they... I feel like I, they stunk some of my ships. Okay, you guys, just sit here for a second. Gosh dang. How many cogs do we have? We have 10 cogs. Okay, so this should be able to support everyone once we land them on our way. Just... Okay, you are aggravating me, troops. Split up if you have to. Then go across. Ay, 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 ay. <sighs> Troops, I swear to you, they're just like idiots. Okay. Now we got this done. Uh, which is already a core. This is, I'm guessing these are already cores. We can't convert any of these because they're pretty much like ultra-religiously hard. Okay, and then once we get this last little soldier onto my land, then we'll go blockade off our enemy's ports. And hopefully we'll get out of this war with, with Spain as soon as possible. Because I really don't want to be in this war. Like, I just... I, I, I know, I, I don't really mind, I should say, per se, but it just, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really, like, concern me at all. I don't really care. They, they can go in this war as, you know, enthusiastically as they want, but I just don't really care. I want to go discover the new world. I want to go see what's out there. So, you know, this, this is just a distraction, honestly. So let's just group up, destroy whatever we can. You know, blockade as much as we can. Let's see. Are we fully blockading all of our enemies? Yep, we are. And so now they should have full 100% blockation. Yeah. And now the war leader is getting pretty low. Hopefully France will take that as a sign that maybe they should get out of this war. We'll see. They just I think they're going to have to siege down the, uh, the uh, capital region. And then once that's done, then we can get back to our own little stuff to do, which is mostly going to revolve around converting, which, can I, can I boost ability? Yes, I can. Let's see, did that help, how much did that help it? 92, that actually did lower it a ton. So, we're not in Rebels. We could try to get Almia converted. Let's try it. So let's get all of you guys together, send our soldiers right here, and I'm guaranteeing you're not going to win. Get this guy back. I don't... Hmm. People are fighting for that guy too much. Okay, and we destroyed their military. And the Provence is at full 100% annexation. Or at least, I think it is. And France is just demolishing everything in its sight. It is not even a competition right now. France is just being France. Okay, and we're just... Right now, we're just sitting back, just kind of on our hands and heels. Just kind of like, yep. This is all happening in the world. We're just kind of like gain a core diplomatic insult or lose stability. Yep. <laughs> okay, there we go. The war has finally ended. Combine all these guys. Okay. Combine all these guys into one big gigantic unit. What we're going to do is we're going to separate the uh, actual cogs. Because I don't think cogs need to be uh, in the sea. So let's put these guys over here. And then for... These guys, we're going to have you guys protect our trade in Seville. And we're going to see how much our trade jumps up once we have all of our ships in this region. It should be pretty substantial now. We have gained a conquest causes Belay against Portugal. No surprise there. It was probably going to happen at any point now. 
And let's see, how much are we gaining in trade power over here? Mm-hmm. 51%. Take that, Portugal. You guys thought you guys were the top dogs for a while, didn't you? Well, guess what? I'm back on top. And I'm ready to rock the world with my uh, Castilian might. So, right now we have a couple cores taking up our spots, like the cores on uh, our friends-ish people. I mean, I call them friends, but really they're more like people that we just want to take over, but we just, eh, don't really have the time to. And right now I'm still dealing with a lot of stuff, so I think I should be able to annex you very, very soon. Uh, 1458. No, a little bit longer than I thought. It's gonna take a little bit, but at least you're 100% of liking me, which is what I like. You do not hate me, and you do not hate me. That's what I like. And let's see. We're doing pretty good on money, so what I might do is actually, like, see if we can get a 2 advisor for here. Uh, National Revolt Risk. Yeah, let's get a 2 advisor for right here. That way we can, uh... What was it? And I guess one National Mouth right here. That way we can increase our speed with our administrative power so that we can start taking down just slightly a bit quicker. Uh, you are just... I'm, I'm almost thinking I should give up on that Cardinal, but I want him so badly that I'm just not giving up on him. Hey, you, you guys split up into two armies and just relax. Because right now we're just we're probably going to take a little bit of like a relaxing period now. Because I don't really need to be doing anything and the world doesn't really need to be doing anything. I mean, for heaven's sakes, I'm allied with the people I want to declare war on. Let's see. Supporting the independence of Navarre. It's a good thing Navarre likes me. It's, it's a really good thing Navarre likes me a ton. Like, our relationships right now are really nice to the point I don't think Aragon is going to get anywhere. You guys are really just being jerks. You know what? I, I want to break up that royal ties with you right now. By the way, who are your allies? Just so I know. You have no one as your allies. But then again, honestly, I... Hmm. See, the funny thing is, is that I just need the king to die. Um... Let's see. I think I think it would work is if I just need the royal person no legal and so I think I just need like also I just need the king to die and I would be inheriting their throne. Which wouldn't be that bad. But at the same time, they're being annoying, annoying people. We still have show superior I still do. Hmm. You know, I still wanted to declare war on you so badly because you guys are being massive jerks, Aragon. Like, you guys don't even know how massive jerky you are being. Because I'd be nice to you, and yet you'd be, like, major jerks to me. I, I do nothing to, like, provoke you, and yet you're like, hey, let's be mean to Castile. That's a good idea, because that's a good idea, guys. They're not going to totally take it. Oh, never mind. So, yeah, I'm kind of feeling a little bit hurt here. And apparently I can't build any soldiers right now because I just realized that manpower is, is depleted. So in actuality, maybe I should not do any of that. And let's convert this culture while we still have a chance. Lose five legitimacy because our prestige isn't exactly pristine, if you know what I mean. <laughs> a little bit of a bad joke right there. So we have a little bit of advanced tech that we could do. Are we ahead of times? Um, no, we aren't. So we should probably get this tech. Now we can start building armies, which means we actually have some room to actually sink our massive wealth into. Seriously. Like, we had no reason to have wealth, but now we have a reason to have wealth. So let's start building our first army in Madrid, which should also help with our manpower recovery, which is something we do need. And right now, we're just gaining massive amounts of money for really no apparent reason. Uh, and by the way, are we at our, our naval force limit? We are not. So let's get a new Karak going, not Karak, a Barg. Let's get that built, do, 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 do. and build that right there, and we can invest in a Cardinal. You know what, England, if you really want this guy, because you are not going to give this up, have him. You know what, I, I, I almost feel, no, it's a principle. <laughs> I can't let England win. For all my might, you will never win, England. I will make sure to fight you for my bare knuckles. Okay, but anyways, we're going to start, you know, casually increasing our manpower with all these armies. Start increasing everything and just generally keeping up with the rest of the world within terms of buildings. It usually doesn't happen where I usually get this advanced to where I can just, like, keep up with everything. 
And we'll just slowly... Oh my goodness, that is such a scary sound. I'll see you guys next time.